hi guys welcome back to my youtube channel if you're new here thank you so much for stopping by if you're a returning subscriber thank you so much boo for sticking around so today i'm going to be showing you guys how i created this very simple um makeup it's beginner friendly so i tried as much as possible not to skip too much first and foremost as usual we are going to start off by cleaning her skin using our micellar water i'm using the simple micellar water and my wipes to cleanse her skin now we know what micellar water does it takes off dirt and dirt on the skin ha ah, english wow dirt it takes off dirt and starts up with your hydration process um it's very important that you start whatever makeup or look you want to create whether it's a casual look or a, a wedding guest look or a bridal look it's very important you start off by cleaning next i'm going to be moisturizing her skin using the blossom um makeup moist essence i love this moisturizer because it has hyaluronic acid in it i think if you have watched my previous videos you notice um i i use it a lot because it gives me the best um hydrating effect i want to get so i'm just going to use that to moisturize her skin and hydrate you know and all that shrine 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 after hydration if she's a bride i could skip this and do a sheet mask but since she's not i just went ahead with my moisturizer next i'm just going to make sure the moisturizer dries and sits well on her skin so i'm going to be using my mini fan just to dry that off before i go in with my um primer and for this look i used the what do you call it uh sorry the becca primer <laughs> i used a little of it on her t-zone just to take out shine and all that and then i massaged it into her skin <clears throat> um just make sure you massage this and it's not sitting on top of your moisturizer next thing i'm going to be going in with you can see how well i prepared her face here yeah. next i'm going to be going in with my foundations i'm going to be using the isa and those foundations in deep deep tan and ebony sorry i'm not going to be editing this because <laughs> i just want you guys to hear how rambly i can get when um doing voiceovers so i'm going to be going in with my beauty blender from y glam i love this beauty blender like it blends like a dream and i'm just going to be pushing my foundation into her skin using the beauty blender now getting the perfect match for your bride is very 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 important because that's the base that's like what sets off the mood you know like when you want to be happy there are certain things you put in place to set off the mood so that's the same thing your foundation does so you should try as much as possible to make sure you are matching correctly to avoid any stories that touch the heart you can see it like there is little or no difference between the face that has the side that has foundation and the side that doesn't like and i used very little foundation very very little foundation and you can see how well it blended in even me was i was very very happy with this mix to tell you the truth because i practically did this bit in less than an hour because it was late and we just got back from work we had like two home service that same day and then she's my assistant and she had to she had to model for me too so you can imagine so yeah i'm still blending in her foundation i tried not to cut off a lot of the processes so that you get the gist and you understand that it actually takes a lot of work and blending to get to wherever it is you want to get to So yeah, just make sure you blend the living daylight out of the foundation until it's sitting right 
and it's not moving at all next i'm going to be highlighting her face and i'm going to be using my concealer palette from fbh it's their new 20 in one palette from fbh cosmetics i'm going to be using that to highlight the under under her under eyes the bridge of her nose her forehead her chin and then i'm going to be blending that in like i'm going to blend it like my life depends on it you know how we do it so i'm just trying to place all this the concealer in the areas that i want it please don't forget to subscribe like and share my videos with your friends and loved ones and even your passers by you know those people that used to watch your status like it was meant for them even those people please share share to as much as possible and i'll be very very glad so here i'm just blending in my concealer using the same um beauty blender i used as the white glam beauty blender i'm just going to use it to blend out the edges first then i'll go into the inner corner and blend that out too just make sure you blend like your life depends on it next i'm going to be setting the under eye now if you notice i didn't blend the under eye until i got my powder at hand i'm using the blood cos blood cosmetic silk loose um setting powder i love i think i'm on my third i'm on my third um um what do you call it container now for the setting powder so what i'm doing is just basically uh, blending uh blending in the um concealer that is on her on the english have disappeared i'm just blending in the concealer under her eyes and then i'm going to go into it into it with my setting powder ha. now we're here around today i'm just going to set now this is setting not baking there is a huge difference baking is packing a lot of powder to control oil while this i'm just using uh the setting powder to set her under eye and i made a mistake because i packed a little bit too much which you can see me trying to blend in here but you know how we do it we'll always find a way next after setting i went ahead and did the rest i'm going to be baking her face now i'm baking by applying um excess powder to her under eye to set and brighten up and catch up um eyeshadow fall out for me <laughs> how mosquito will take enter my room i don't know anyways i'm just setting all the areas where i have um extra product next i'm going to go ahead and do her brows and i'm going to start by brushing her hair and then lining her lips with this milai brow pencil it's a very nice and affordable pencil i love it it's just like davis even though i don't think there is any pencil that actually beats davis to me but yeah that's the pencil i'm going to be using to outline her brows i'm going to use it to out outline the lower parts first then the upper parts by now you should know that brows are my least favorite things to do so yeah just watched and enjoyed the process meanwhile like i said earlier jemima is my um she's my student that turned my assistant on the day of the shoot and we're just it was just two of us tired souls trying to shoot content next i'm going to be concealing the brows using my zikel concealer second skin concealer to um to conceal her her brow bones and the top of her brows and i'm going to be using this angle brush from vicabel to achieve that too inshallah may god help us but <laughs> brows are my least favorite things to do i say it all the time but with with practice and constant corrections will be fine just make sure you're using what you need just the right amount of products try not to do the plenty concealer plenty uh, foundation thingy try to keep your product usage at the barest minimum especially if you want to have like a skin like finish when it comes to brows i try to use just the concealer i need to 
prepare a base for my eyelid that's all next i'm going to be blending that in after that i'm going to go ahead with my eyeshadow work using my concealer as a base i'm going to go in with this Fali eyeshadow Fali cosmetics eyeshadow and i'm just going to go in with a matte shade set the whole lid with a matte shade then go over it with a pigmented um uh eyeshadow just to give it a little you know bling bling <laughs> enjoy the process and you'll hear my voice soon So after blending in the pink eyeshadow, I went over it with a black eyeshadow because I decided I wanted to smoke out her eyes. And then after that, I went in with the pigment I got from Pineapple Cosmetics to um, just to give her eyes a little glitz. I love the pigmentation of this um, pigment. Like, it makes so much sense. It applies just like butter, no stress. You know, I used a, a fluffy eyeshadow brush to apply that. Mind you, there is no um, pigment glue or glitter glue on her eyelid. And it just applied like a dream. Like, I really loved the outcome of this particular eye look. And yeah, that is just me tapping it, tapping it, tapping it in to blend it out. You can see the shine like... Like... So yeah, don't forget to subscribe, like, and share this video for and click the notification uh, button for more content like this. Next, I'm going to be lining her eyes using my Kiss Beauty inner liner. Now, I use this mostly for her inner line, for my inner lines, but today I decided to use it to smudge out her outer line too. Yep, so... After that, I'm just going to use it and line her upper liner. I'm going to use it to smudge her upper um, lash line just to give it like a smoky effect, you know, and all that. This pencil is very nice. In as much as it's a pencil, it's like a gel based pencil, and I'm just going to be smudging out her edges like that. Next, I'm going to really. Sorry. Like I said, I'm not going to be editing any any part of this video, so just enjoy it. I'm going to be using my mascara from Blossom to clean up all her eyeshadow fallouts and prepare her lashes for my um lash for my fake lashes. That's my artificial lashes. Yes, I think it's, it means the same thing. And then I'm going to still apply it using the smaller one to her lower lash just to give it a little bit more volume. So you can see the difference. You can see the before and after of with, with the mascara and without the mascara. Oh, can you see that those lashes, man? see that with the mascara see that without the mascara like i wonder what you're doing if you're not using mascaras next i'm going to be fixing her false lashes and i'm using a pair from 
um hairs by jane hairs by jane i love her lashes like they're so affordable lightweight and very unique i love i'm going to drop her um handle down in the description box please do well to click and patronize her i'll really 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 appreciate it and yes i just love this design i'm going to do the same thing to the other eye too i'm just making sure that it sits it has sat oh it has ah should, she i'm just making sure that it has applied beautifully you know you know how we do it we're going to do the other eye too we're going to apply falsies to the other eye and there you have it i don't know what was happening like i said this was in the evening and we were both exhausted from all the work so these lashes i don't know what happened but she came out fine so that is what matters so yeah next i'm going to i'm just going to make sure that this sits properly before we go ahead and do that yep so that hairs by jane that's the palette i use it's so pretty i swear to god it's so pretty oh my god next i'm going to be blending i think ah, why is this thing taking too long i'm going to be blending out her powder using my powder brush from vika bell and um my powder my milani powder that i used to set the whole of her face that i'm going to be using to blend that out i don't know what i was doing here but i think i was just trying to take out um lash glue from under her lashes now the reason why i'm not going to edit this is because i want you guys to have an idea of what really happens during makeup and not just the picture perfect videos we always post like we just did it that way now makeup is a whole experience it's a struggle so there are days it's going to turn out well and there are days it won't just turn out good there are days physically it will turn out good but it won't it won't capture well you know pictures won't be fine videos will be just there you know so in cases like that just know that we are all struggling but your ability to create like good um good looks and make sure your uh, customers or your clients are satisfied is what is going to keep you in business yes welcome to my little ted talk you're welcome <laughs> so yeah i'm just blending out all the powders i used for her for baking and i'm using the powder i use for the rest of her face to pick up the setting powder and blend it in after that i'm going to go in with her lips first i'm i'm going to go all over her lips with a brown lip gloss this is going to serve as a base for the lip i want to create so i'm just going to go all over her lid with that brown um lip uh lip gloss i'm just going to apply it all around all around to her lips blend it in using my brush just to get like a brownish um uh color going on under i'm trying to create like a nude glossy lips for her you know how we do it so yeah don't forget to subscribe like and share my videos with your family and loved ones if you like this video don't forget to give it a thumbs up and give, um, tell me what you like to see in the comment section below so i'll be able to recreate i'll be dropping um uh, tutorial videos every thursday um i'll be dropping get ready's with me every Sorry, every Tuesday, get ready with me will be every Thursday. So you'll be able to get ready on Friday. And then we are going to be posting chit chats on Sundays. Inshallah, inshallah, inshallah. 
so help me god <laughs> so yeah i'm just blending that in just to make sure it's sitting on her lips not just on the surface of her lips after which i'm going to be going into the middle of her lips with a pink uh, lip gloss from the same brand and then i'm going to just allow her smack it and blend it together so that it comes off nicely this is one of my simple and easy hacks when it comes to um glossy lipsticks like because it's very easy to it's very hard it can be very hard and tasking to blend in uh gloss lipsticks gloss like pigmented gloss so doing it like this just makes it easier you can see how luscious and creamy that lips looks and yeah i use the popular gloss it's very nice and pigmented so that's about it to her lips i'm just going in with the brown shade just to blend out the edges so it doesn't look bare kind of and yeah that's jamima feeling herself and then we're going to go ahead and blend out the rest of her face set it with a setting spray apply her bronzer yeah that's what i'm doing now i'm applying her bronzer from my feeble bronzer palette just blending it in to the other side making sure it sits well a little goes a long way so you don't need to pack on too much and i'm using a soft fluffy brush for that just to blend in and make sure everything sits well just the brush over her forehead over the tips of her nose just to get like a natural glow going and all that and yeah why not on the tip of her nose just to highlight it like i said i'm not going to be editing this voice over because i want you guys to have a feel of how i blab whenever i'm doing a voice over and then i end up deleting i end up deleting and then re recording again and again and again but not for this video <laughs> so yeah that's just me blending out her face and then i'm going to go in with my kiss beauty vic spray i love the spray it just makes everything sit properly just spray that make sure you tell your clients to leave their eyes closed because once they open their eyes with the uh, certain spray still on it it's going to break and we don't want that so i'm just going to go over that with my hand fan and make sure it dries properly when it does she can open her eyes and you have a bit please let me know what you think about this face bit and if you love to see more of these videos and all that this bit literally took like 35 minutes 35 to 40 minutes literally so yeah let me know if you enjoyed this please give me a thumbs up and don't forget to um like share tag subscribe and all the things all the positive things that will give uh, that will encourage me to continue this bye see you guys in my next video